Yep, there we go. Oh, on the small side, but we'll take it. Another one. Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souders from Slender Cat Outdoors. On today's video, we're here at the Robert C. Bird Dam and we'll try to catch some moon eye. Stick around, let's get over the hill, get some baits in the water so we can't catch some bait. Oh, here they are. Oh, they're getting closer. Oh. Yep. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Still on the small side, but we'll take it. All right, so what I'm using is just a little spin cast, medium action, uh, cadence reel. This is a speed stick from Luz. And then we got a 3 16th sound sinker. We got three little gold hooks tied kind of like a speaky. And then we got a swivel. And then uh, just a float and all that is about four foot deep and tipping it off with good old crickets crickets millworms and anthony beside of me is catching them on night crawlers of all things There's a bunch of minnows down there, ain't they? He's after it. He's after it. There we go. We got him. I was on the bottom hook. I was saying there earlier that he's a little on the smaller side, but we'll take him. They're about, I don't know, six, seven inches. Now where we're fishing at is the Robert C. Bird Dam, the tailwater section of it. And we're fishing on the lower wall. It's a nice current seam that goes down through here. Now that's a small cricket. I'm gonna have to put two on there. Now what we're doing is there's a seam line that runs down through here and creates a back eddy, but they're just moving around this seam line. We're just tossing it out there in them little slick spots, letting it drift back, twitch it every once in a while. There we got one messing with it out there. There we go. They're really liking them crickets today. Oh, oh. Get him, get him, get him. Now I've got mealworm on here too. But they don't seem to be wanting the mealworm too much today. Just threading that cricket on there from the head down. Tossing it right out there on that seam. Wait for one to grab it. There it goes. That didn't take long at all. That one was on that bottom one too. Now if you use a three hook rig like this, be careful, these things jumping around can get a hook in you quick. Get tangled up, make a heck of a mess on you. Oh, Anthony's got him a good one. Look at that big one. 
Nice. Nice job, Anthony. Get it, buddy. Get it. Get it. <laughs> them things get down the rocks on you. You got to go out after them. Now, he's using a little bit different rig. He's still using a three-hook rig, but you're using a, a slip-style rig, ain't you? Yeah, just has a bead over top of a slip bobber and uh, yeah. a little bobber stop. A little bobber stop and a slip float. And uh, how much weight you got on that one? Uh, that's a half-ounce weight. Half-ounce and... A weighted slip float. Oh, that's a weighted slip yeah, float. I the weight off. I'm using okay. a half-ounce. And a half-ounce and piece of night crawler. Getting it done. Catching what is considered to be one of the best catfish baits there is in the high river. Oh. Dilly daddling around, have one take her down. Good thing Anthony was watching my float. I wasn't. <laughs> Now, depending on where you guys are at in the country, you guys have a dam like this where you can go and, and catch them. You'll want to look for, oh, there's one. You'll want to look for them small boils and current seams. Like if you, now this is not a hydro dam. Oh, and he went bye-bye. Uh, this is not a hydro dam that we're fishing today. This is just a regular uh, locking dam. But I'm gonna put millworm on this one. But uh, look for those seam lines and those boils and the eddies. And that's where these things like to hang out. It seems like I've noticed today, Anthony, that that they. Oh, you got two there. Oh, have one get off. That once we get that school fired up, they really go after it. But if we let them sit there for a minute, then they, it's kind of hard to get them back to where they was. There's another one. Now you guys have seen in my previous videos, I've been blue cat fishing, drifting on the high, and this is what. This is the bait that's been king for the last couple weeks. And they're super easy to catch. Um, they keep good on ice. And it's probably one of the only baits that I do not mind freezing. He's nibbling at it. He's nibbling. There we go. one of the reasons I like using these little spring floats well I tell you what Anthony I've lost more than what I've put in a bucket I think I do that every time I'm catching one of the reasons I like using this little spring float is those littler ones that hit it that's that float will fall over almost like your bait was on bottom Makes it a little bit easier for you to see see the bite. And you guys can see where that float just landed. There's a the seam, the current is pushing in. And that's ever changing, so you guys gotta just keep an eye on where it's at and constantly kind of move around. All right, Anthony, you know, I've never met you before. I met you down here today. Uh, this is your, my first time ever meeting you. Yep. You're from West Virginia. Uh, you, you catfish. You're not a tournament fisherman. Right. But, you know, my viewers hear this a lot from me. 
how important is bait? I mean, you was here before I was this morning, and I pride myself in being one of the first ones at a bait hole. But obviously, you believe it is just as important as I do. Uh, it's the most important thing there is when you're catfishing, in my opinion. Uh, I've used frozen bait. I like frozen bait sometimes, but especially for flatheads, it just seems like nothing beats really good, fresh, bloody bait. I think, I think it puts more scent in the water, more oils. It just seems like it works so much better. Well, there you go, folks. Hopefully this has helped you guys out a little bit, uh, catching what we consider to be the king bait of Ohio, especially in the summertime. So grab you some millworms, some night crawlers, some crickets, whatever you got. Go to your local dam, find you, you know, some slacker water, some seam lines, try it out. And uh, I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed whenever you catch some, you learn how to catch them and you, got, you use them for bait. So hopefully this helped. Until next time, God bless, tight lines, and we'll catch you on the water. Yep, there we go. Not on the small side, but we'll take it. There's another one.